Hey guys, starting today's vlog a bit late. Um, 1.32 in fact. Yeah, I just didn't feel like getting out of bed today. I mean, it's Sunday, so it's a lazy day. For the most part. Uh, anyway, after getting out of bed, I've just been editing yesterday's vlog. All morning. And, I mean, as you can, uh, you, as you probably have already seen, it's a rather long one. Um, <clears throat> So right now I'm just exporting it, and it's gonna take about five hours, five and a half hours, I think. Ugh. Yeah. And I got plans at 4:30, so I'm not gonna be home when it finishes, and uh, it'll probably go up late. Not too late, I would assume, but yeah. Anyway, had a great time at. Uh, a high school reunion last night, so yeah. Ah, uh, saw more people there than I thought uh, I was going to see. So another plus. And um, there was something else I wanted to say. Ah, uh, I'm sure I'll remember it later. All right, so before I forget. Here's today's useless facts. And today's useless facts are going to be on Vatican. Vatican City may be the world's smallest independent nation, but it is the spiritual capital for the world's one billion Catholics. There's a scary thought. Almost all of Vatican City's 890 citizens live within the Vatican walls. The citizens include high-ranking dignitaries, priests, nuns, guards, as well as about 3,000 lay workers. Wait. Vatican City has 890 citizens. And uh, among those citizens are 3,000 lay workers. Either someone did the math incorrectly, or someone does not know how to count. Holy See is a term used to describe the composite of the authority, jurisdiction, and sovereignty vested in the Pope and his advisors to direct the worldwide Roman Catholic Church. The Holy See is the central government of the Roman Catholic Church and has legal authority to enter into treaties as the juridical equivalent of a state. Okay. Vatican City has a press that can print books or pamphlets in any language from Old Ecclesiastical Gregorian whew, that was a long hard word to pronounce to the Tamil language of India and Sri Lanka. Vatican City gained independence from Italy on February 11, 1929. And that does it for today's useless facts. Tomorrow we have vaudeville. Alright, so I just remembered what it was that I wanted to say earlier today. And it is about St. Patrick's Day, which is today. Alright, so last week I remember a friend posting on Facebook uh, explaining that St. Patrick's Day is a religious holiday, and true Irish uh, people will uh, spend today going to church, all right? And after that, it's spending time with family. It's a day of giving thanks, basically, all right? Giving thanks and sharing in good times with your family, all right? And now, uh, the whole idea of the, today being a drinking day is a bit offensive to people who truly understand what St. Patrick's Day is about. And so, um, I just wonder how it became a drinking day. And my theory is, uh, or hypothesis rather, since I don't have anything to go on really other than my own uh, uh, thoughts. Uh, so my hypothesis is that some tourist went to Ireland during St. Patrick's Day. They saw families getting together, 
having a good time, you know, and maybe even getting a little tipsy, drunk, drinking, you know. And the tourist must have gotten the wrong impression that St. Patrick's Day was a day for drinking. Because you see a lot of families drinking and having a good time on this day. And you're a dumb tourist. What are you going to think? Wow, there's a holiday that's just for drinking. So I'm guessing that's how St. Patrick's Day became a drinking day. Now, earlier today on Facebook, I saw another uh, friend uh, post something about St. Patrick's Day. Um, this will be on the completely opposite end from the other friend who posted something about uh, St. Patrick's Day, where one friend uh, basically uh, says that St. Patrick's Day deserves some respect, especially St. Patrick himself. Other friend is... Well, let me uh, say this. Uh, some of you uh, know what St. Patrick is uh, best known for, right? Or well known for. Driving all the snakes out of Ireland. Okay. Now, um, scientists have found that no evidence whatsoever that there has ever been any snakes in Ireland. And, uh... I mean, the closest thing that even comes to a snake in Ireland is this really long worm, from what I read. So, what snakes are they talking about? And then um, this friend um, also posted that uh, the snakes that uh, they're referring to are the uh, pagans and druids that used to live in Ireland. And they were driven out by... Uh, St. Patrick. So, this friend does not uh, think that this day deserves any respect or the man himself. Neither deserves any respect whatsoever because this is a day for celebrating genocide, basically. So, now I'm not going to pick one side over the other. Alright, as far as I'm concerned, they're both true. Alright, they are both um, uh, true and they, are, and they both have a right to their own um, uh, uh, respect and beliefs, I guess, uh, is what I'm trying to say. So, uh, but I am just so torn right now. Do I say Happy St. Patrick's Day or not? You know? And uh, it's, I spent like an hour today on Facebook trying to figure out what can I say that will not offend either of them and yet still show respect for both of them. And till now I still have nothing. Uh, the only, the best thing that I can uh, come up with is say nothing at all. And um... Yeah, I guess that's it. I'll just say nothing. So, uh... I, mean, I suppose I understand why um, uh, the uh, people who are for St. Patrick's Day would celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Because I think, if I am not mistaken, driving out the Druids and the Pagans brought in Catholicism into Ireland. I think. So, Catholics are thankful to St. Patrick for giving them their religion in Ireland. Pagans and Druid uh, descendants are not thankful for Patrick because he committed genocide on their people. Oh, religion is such a headache. Religion and spirituality are both such a headache. This is why the world is so torn. Religion and spirituality. And now I just offended both sides. Awesome. Alright, well, let's hang out now. 
going to meet up with uh, my friends for fake St. Patrick's Day. I think I can uh, say that and not offend anyone, right? Yeah, I'll just call it fake St. Patrick's Day. That way, I'm not really celebrating the genocide of pagans and druids. At the same time, I'm also not uh, uh, associating uh, this uh, day of drinking with the actual St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, that's what I would say. Yeah. Okay, so I think I should be safe with that. I hope. Alright, so I just uh, quickly came back home to upload uh, today, yesterday's vlog, um, <clears throat> and now uh, I'm off to uh, hang out with my friends for the rest of the night, and uh, yeah, most likely not going to be vlogging at all for the rest of the night, so uh, I'm going to sign off now, so talk to you guys tomorrow.